Hi all, I'm Tony. This is SV Depatia, yeah. And this is the, the video record of the build of this boat that you see behind me. She's a, a J Benford design 32 foot uh, sailing dory. Will be junk uh, schooner rigged in time. And the state of play is that we're getting near to completion. The sails are in storage. Uh, the masts are laid the other side of the boat here. Um, and we're pretty much ready. If I just sort of scan behind, you may, well, you may have already noticed or be aware that rudders on, keels on, engines in, we're getting places. Obviously, still a few things to do. Um, and uh, one of those that I started off this week is working on the tiller. And one of our very, very lovely patrons um, who lives nearby donated a piece of wood to the cause that I sort of earmarked straight away to be a, to be a tiller. Um, it's actually a, a boom off of a, a Dutch built steel boat um, and it had one of these small stabilizing sails that they often had, have and um, it's the boom from that and it's a very nice looking piece of wood I believe it to be a bit of Sitka spruce and yeah I say I earmark that straight away for the tiller and I've started this week uh, cleaning that up there was some harbour on it I took that off and then gave it a good sand up and then as you'll see in due course uh, give it a bit of a shape up um, and towards the end of the video I then start to make up a, a stainless fitting of where the tiller hinges and the rudder end a stainless fitting just to sort of support that a bit and look nice let's have a look This is the, the pin, the lower pin. And I just want to put a thread in the bottom end so that if ever need be, I can use a puller to, to pull it out again. So I'm going to drill that and thread it. Well, you may have been wondering why um, I didn't drill that hole out to full size on the lathe and the simple answer is that this is, is a mini lathe, it's very short. So with that bronze piece in the chuck, um, I could use a small diameter drill in that length that you've got, but the bigger diameter drills and the 8.5 millimeter that I needed wouldn't fit in there. So if you have a lathe like this, you need to buy a set of short drills. Um, and that's something I need to consider, certainly. But I did manage to get in a smaller, I think it was a five millimeter or a six millimeter hole, and that gave me the center, and then I could hand drill that with the, with the rechargeable in the vise, as you saw, and that's come out just fine. up 
right there. We got cooking it on the floor. Well, one of the things that's missing from the rudder is, is the lower end plate. You have, a, have a, a, two end plates, one at the top, somewhere around the waterline, one at the bottom of the rudder that are designed to direct the flow of the water over the rudder blade to stop it slipping off up or down and give you a more linear flow, more laminar flow perhaps. Um, they're supposed to make the rudder much more effective. I imagine it's true. <laughs> So, started making that up, um, drew it out to shape, cut it out. I've made it a little bit longer, going aft ways, with the intention that I can use that as the lower bearing for the trim tab of the wind vane. Um, that's the thinking at the moment. And
Så kan jeg ikke sådan et vær. So I sat in the very cluttered office and editing desk here with Hazel. It was here over the over the Christmas period and for other less cheerful events that you know about. Um, and you spent you started sailing on the 21st of June and you sailed through to early November cruising. Yep. Uh, and we've shown a few bits of your sailing, so we know you went up through Denmark and um, then up to Norway, didn't we? And then, mm. of course, Karen and I come and met you in the Orkney Islands, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. So, do you want to tell us what you did after that? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we went south, we went through the Caledonian Canal. Um, and, yeah, that's that we were going to meet you guys. Actually, in the Caledonian, but that was the plan. Yeah, didn't really work out whether. Yeah. Um, so you went down the east coast of Scotland and through the Caledonian Canal. Yes. That's yeah. Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah, um, and then out the other side, the Caledonian is beautiful as well. Like the locks were way smaller than I imagined, mm -hmm. but um, but you can comfortably fit. The so that's the the locks, as in the the, the water yeah, the level locks, yeah. not the not the lock, lock ness or yeah. not lock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lock, not lock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you went through the Caledonian from the mm. east side to the west side of Scotland. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and how were the locks? Oh, uh, uh, very, very beautiful. You know, just just like you imagine, really, like water, 
different mountains on either side. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, Loch, Loch Oik was my favourite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, very, very pretty. And did you manage to sail at all through there? Or was it motoring all the way? I think we motored all the way, yeah. We're, it was like the wind either goes, you know, uh, west or east, you know, and it was going on the nose basically yeah yeah it was going east it was coming from the west it was on the nose the yeah, whole time yeah so, nose elise no ceiling mm -hmm. then you got out the end the west end there's fort william isn't it Will, yeah fort william and mm. then what happened um it was a bit blowy that when we came out we were a bit worried that there was like strong winds coming through so mm -hmm. we just motored a little bit and found an anchorage quite close by, really beautiful anchorage as well, forgot where it was, what it's called, um, but very pretty. And and then the next day we sailed on to... Um, well you went up that narrow channel between Mull and the mainland didn't you? Yeah, no that was after, we still went to that marina, um, Oban, okay. but we didn't go to Oban exactly but there's another marina like on... Um, oh there, yeah, yeah. 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 But anyhow, yeah. cutting it short, at mm. some stage you went up through past Mull and yeah. then yeah. Um, up through whatever those islands there are yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, between Sky and the mainland as well and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a very pretty country I recommend yeah. it. Oh, yeah, good. And where are you now then? Uh, in Stornoway. Well, Stornoway. Where, yeah, where which is Stornoway? Which is yeah. on the Isle of Lewis or Lewis and Harris um, in the Outer Hebrides. Mm. Hey guys, look what I just woke up to. Uh, well, I didn't just wake up, but about to go to the gym. Snowy. And it's pretty much the northmost of the Outer Hebrides mm, Islands, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Pretty much. So. Well, may not be exactly yeah. so, but north, northmost of the big ones, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think. It is. I think so too. <laughs> okay, uh, and it's a good harbour for overwintering? It is, yes. Very protected. Also, quite cheap. Mm -hmm. um, all the, uh, and, um, yeah, super, no, super protected. You're like right in the middle of town as well, which, you know, this isn't the biggest town ever, but I think it's the biggest town on the island. And yeah, it has yeah. everything you need, yeah. like a chandler and stuff. And a bit, a bit of a cruiser scene there. Yes. Or yeah. A small is, one, at least. Yeah. Uh, we met some friends in Denmark, and they are our neighbours now. They actually told us about... And they have a YouTube channel, I believe. They do, yes. Called Drake Paragon. Drake Paragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're hanging out with Drake Paragon. Mm. Um, in Denmark, you met the Magic Carpet guys, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, 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 briefly. I mean, they were meeting with... Uh, with Drake. Yeah. yeah. In Monique. We were over on their boat for an evening and then we met them too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And also in Stornoway, there's the... Free Spirit. Free Sailing Free Spirit. Yeah. Another yeah. YouTube channel. Yes. So yeah. It's good. It's no, but they're all our neighbours, which is mm. really nice. And uh, yeah, we get to hang out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Been quite cool. Yeah. And so if you don't know Sailing Free Spirit, they've got quite a few videos of the of the Scottish Island sailing mm. there and the yeah. wildlife particularly. They concentrate quite a lot yeah. on wildlife yeah. on it. Very, yeah. very nice. I recommend yeah. having a look at Sailing Free Spirit. <laughs> yeah, well I do. Yeah. They're good videos, aren't <laughs> yeah, like they? Them. Are, yeah, they are. Yeah. True. Yeah. So um and then of course the weather will get better again one day. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Probably early May, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, the winter season in Stornoway is over at the end of April, or mm -hmm. I've got my slip until mm -hmm. the end of April. Mm -hmm. so. And then what are you going to do? Then I am going to go south. Uh, head south. <laughs> to warmer weather mm -hmm. <laughs> and sunshine. What an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So down the west coast. Mm, of yeah. The, of yeah, I definitely want to Great explore Britain. the Outer Hebrides because mm. they look really nice they do they so. certainly do yeah but yeah okay. france yeah would be nice see how it goes because yeah. last year's plan wasn't to end up in, in no. the outer hebrides was it, it was so not. This, this is the lovely way that sailing plans can go isn't <laughs> yeah. it that, that, you know that, yeah no it's true as scott and says so all plans are cast in jello yeah uh, yeah, you know. mm. yeah. be flexible yeah but it worked out very well yeah you enjoyed yourself 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got called towards the end, but it's <laughs> still nice. Sailing northern Scotland yeah. in uh, late October. <laughs> yeah, I dare say. Mm. Yeah, jolly good. So maybe France. Yes, that would be nice. I'm already polishing up my French. Excellent work. <laughs> Drinking a lot of wine and practice. <laughs> <laughs> wine and cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well done. Good luck. Well, it's a mess in here again. Have a look. I swing around slowly. Various things going on. It's a little plinth for the winch. The uh, lower end plate welders out from where I was welding up that piece of stainless there. I've got the rudder. And so I've got the tiller, sorry. Being varnished. Various <laughs> bits that need tidying up. Oh dear, what a mess. Uh, this stainless is going to be the arch that uh, goes over the aft end makes forms part of the aft railing and um, also the arch that the aft sheet connects to what a mess oh dear oh dear oh dear tidying up time and on that note i should say thank you to you for watching um a massive thank you to the lovely people who support us on patreon via paypal you guys rock and uh we'll be pushing on see you next time bye